Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished Blackheart Keep, which was a short and sweet little mansion. I really liked it a lot. Some of my favorite mansions have been, like, the super short ones. Magma Peak was also super charming, but not very long. Dr. Demenza's Den is up, up next. Let's do it. Door close. Welcome to my humble dwelling, traveler. Please excuse the mess. Renovations are nearing, nearing completion, and the den can be a dangerous place to visit. We have odd ideas about hospitality here at the den, do you know? <laughs> you do well to remember that your safety isn't really our concern. All visitors, please check in with the gargoyle at the front of the guard tower. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> it stretches plausibility a little bit for anybody to say that they have odd ideas, like to self-declare that. A small sign is posted with a note that looks like it has started to fade from exposure to the weather. Security team, squad two. This is better than before, but I can still see the, the yellow key from the ground. I hope for your sakes that it is better protected than it looks. Dr. D won't be pleased if we allow his secret stashes to fall into the hands of thieves. He was pretty upset last time. Do I have to remind you what happened to the last security team? Gus, security chief. So does this mansion have, like, a whole lot of words and a story? Greaves. I don't think I've uh, encountered those before. Hey, wait a minute, I see you. You sneaky ladder, whoa. Oh boy, lying partially buried by a cave in a corpse with the following note crumpled in its outstretched hand. Dr. D, my apologies for not delivering this report to you in person. I thought you'd want the search for the keys to start right away. It looks like the trolls you insisted I take on the team ran off with your keys, so I followed them into the caverns. As you know, I've never been a big fan of the trolls, and I'm afraid they may be making a move on your treasure and possibly the den itself. Why they've waited until now is still a mystery. The caverns are different. There's cave-ins, and I can barely recognize certain areas. In retrospect, it might not have been a good idea hiding one of the vault keys down here. Instruct anyone you send after me to use extreme caution. Alright. Okay, so that's solid. Oh, hi, spider. Uh, hi, troll. Are you the guys who stole the keys? That's a speedy ladybug. Never seen one quite that quick before. Lying amidst fallen rocks that appear to have claimed many other victims is a sign with a quickly scrawled message. Passage sealed by Gus. Guard this passage with your lives and ensure that the keys are secured separately. Keep watch for trolls. Use whatever means necessary to keep them from the estate. Get help if I don't return in a day. Okay, that sounds useful. That looks like a secret. Green bubbly water. I guess acid or something? Oh, hi. Okay. Okay. Wait, why Why this? What's that for? Is that a pressure plate? I feel like I should step on it. Wait a second, that's... That looks suspicious over there, but I don't think it's a place I can go. Ah, a lever. Okay. This looks hazardous. Let's go slowly. I don't trust the way transferring across platforms works, so I'm going to be very careful with it. That's suspicious that I go behind the wall right there. Uh, not extremely suspicious, though. Oh, good grief. In a crumpled note, laying on the floor of the cavern, you discovered an old D-mail. From the back and forth message chain, you're able to piece together the following conversation. Like, so, like, D-demented de mail? Den mail? <laughs> Doctor mail? <laughs> Gary, I don't know. It's a bit showy putting the key out there. So close, yet so, so far. Are you certain the boss wants to hide keys like this? Gus, yeah, it's not as secure as I would like, but the boss likes to taunt would-be thieves. You know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't reach it, that sort of thing. Childish, really. Of course I made sure you can only get to it from the long way around. It is his money, I suppose, and he pays us well, so if that's how he wants it. <laughs> the rest of the exchange is lost to acid. Okay, so confirm that is acid. Is this, is all this, oh, there's something here. Next to a small troll-sized corpse lies a purple key that you quickly take. <laughs> Apparently one of the keys almost vanished below, and the would-be thief didn't notice the spider. But where was the troll going? There doesn't seem to be any way down from here. Perhaps there's a way from the sealed passageway above? Good grief, is all this text necessary? 
Oh, okay. Um, there's something going on there. I think maybe that lever... Hmm. Oh, I see something suspicious. Uh, no, it's not what I thought it might have been. I can stand here. I didn't actually die. What'd that sign say? I don't really want to read it again, but I'm gonna... Perhaps there's a way from the sealed passageway above. Sealed passageway. What do you mean? I just don't feel like this is a game where <laughs> this much text is necessary. It's, it just feels like it gets in the way. Could there be a thing here? There could be, but there isn't. Do I want to fall down that hole? Probably not, but maybe. Hmm, one of these. <sighs> and a crumpled note laying on the floor of the cavern, you discover an old den mail. Okay, so that's what that is. D-mail. From the back and forth messages, you're able to piece together the following conversation. Remind me again why we're going to the corrupt trouble to carve a giant key into a chamber intended to help protect one. It's more fun this way. Fun? For who? You have to understand that my team is spending a lot of time and effort to trying to protect your wealth, and advertising the location of a key that can access some of that wealth runs counter to our efforts. Efforts. <laughs> it's more fun for me, and let's leave it at that. I think you and your team are doing a fine job, and I'm paying you well for your efforts. Keep up the good job. Um, keep up the good work. Do as I ask, and we'll get along fine. The messages appear to trail off. Okay, so I needed to do that. Oh, I see the key. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I made a mistake. Maybe I can just... Well, I can reset it, certainly. Alright, so one at a time. Drop into acid. This is going to be awkward. Ugh, 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 that was incredibly awkward. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. Uh, I'm not comfortable with any of this. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen. Can I jump you? Nope. Well, I killed both skeletons with my body. That's fine, I guess. What's up? with the bat there. That's weird. Alright, so those things aren't coming back for a while. Oh, I have to wait for them, though. Mm. Okay, that's what the bat's for. Cute, I guess. Uh, Alright. How far do you go? Not far enough. Hmm. Man, these platform cycles are not set up to be friendly. Okay. I got a gold key. I have a purple one, too, from somewhere. Oh, that's right. It told me about it when I picked it up. I remember now. So, uh, there was there were activities above, right? I think there was something more to do. Okay, so there's this. I could check that, since I have a gold key. But what was up here? I, ne I never continued to the right very far. Green bat sign, blue bat sign... Rocky the Gargoyle, welcome to the den. Very pleased to meet you, I'm sure. One thing the boss wants me to tell you about is our new control panels, so you won't be surprised when you see them around a the place. We have three kinds, and you may see them on the floor or on a wall. We have the blue bat panel, which causes a blue platform with a bat on it to appear, and you can use it to go someplace, then come back. Usually, this platform will disappear, uh, will appear close to the panel, but not always. We have the green bat panel, which will cause a gray bat platform to appear a lot like the blue except it's only a one-way ride. 
Finally, we got a general purpose panel which can do many different things depending on when, uh, where it's used. This one here lights these torches. Not very interesting, maybe, but they can do all sorts of stuff. Why don't you experiment with these panels? Oh yeah, if you see a goblin named Gus around, let me know. Gus is a goblin? Okay. Okay. Reward offered for information regarding the disappearance of Gus the Goblin, head of security, and the return of critical items thought to be in his possession. We suspect that Gus had the final keys to the newly revamped security system and his disappearance has interrupted progress on our renovations. Although he is or was a valued member of our staff, we really need to get those keys back. All else is secondary. Have a nice day, Dr. D. Ahoy. Written on a small sign with a small arrow card into it pointing to the upper left. Service lift to upper courtyard. Also, beware of gifts. The rest of the sign is obscured by some sort of discoloration. Beware of gifts. Beware of... Heights. No. Beware of... I don't know. Giant spider? Beware of giant spider is probably what that says. Security team, please do your best to ensure that the seals in this chamber are perfect before we add the acid. We don't want to have any repeats of last time. Dr. D was pretty clear any screw-ups would be dealt with very creatively. Gus. I see that spider kind of going into the wall a little bit. Look at that. Oh, wait. He just started that way, I guess? What? Okay. Okay. Uh, nothing over here, huh? Okay. Wait. I'm on a... I got on a ladder somehow. Okay. I do have a gold key for that. I see the sp... I feel like I should spend this elsewhere. I guess... Or do gold keys just lead straight to treasure, I guess? Because, like, that leads to a whole new room. Okay, so this is a known... Uh, known item. That spider's web doesn't go all the way down. What are you attached to, spider? You got an invisible cord the last little bit of the way, for some reason. <laughs> is there a ladder here? No. Whoa, right. But we're a giant spider. Ah! Hey up there, Rocky shouts from below. I probably should mention that sometimes the moving platforms have a panel on each end, like this one. It's paired with the one down there. When you went up there, nothing happened, except for me yelling at you, because the platform was already there. Let's let's say you was to leave this room and come back. Maybe you found a hidden passage or something. You never know. Been no to happen. Anyway, you get back, the platform's gone. Boo-hoo, whatever will you do? Rocky says in a sing-song mocking tone and pauses for effect. You hit the panel up there, that's what. And bada bing, bada boom, you got a platform ready to take you back down. How about that? The gargoyle seems very pleased with himself for remembering his instructions. One last thing. This place is crazy infested with spiders who'd love to get a hold of a squishy morsel like yourself. No offense. Watch your step. Anyway, anyhow, that's all I got. Have fun at it end. Money. Can't reach the ladder. Shield, if open, trapdoor. Wait, uh, where am I going? Here? Okay, sure. Yeah, right, jump momentum. See, now I can't trust it. I don't know whether I'm going to get the boost or not. Or the anti-boost. In that case, oh, bird, yeah. So that one seems to reliably boost. Whoa, hey, <laughs> I'm really surprised that worked. <laughs> Uh, where am I? What am I doing? I I was kind of heading back to open that gold door, but then I got sidetracked. There's a gargoyle talk to me. Oh, hey, I slipped off. Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. I was making no inputs there. Jack landed, but then he fell. Whoops. <laughs> that can happen too, if I just misjudge a jump. All this reading has distracted me from the platforming. Oh man. And maybe it's a weird thing to complain about, given how many games I play that are, like, mostly reading and not much else. 
But in this one, I want to... I want to... Ah, oh, shoot. I almost pulled that off, too. I'm gonna game over in this room, apparently. Why is this so hard for me? Okay, Bert. I'm just gonna... Not touch you at all. Wow! This is a major problem. Like, this is just weirdly hard for how simple it looks. What?! That was again. I was making no inputs there. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna get the anti-boost. That's fine. I got a shield. Kneel the gargoyle. Oh man, why'd you go and take my shield for? We get birds flying around up here all the time, and let me tell you, shields can block a lot more than just swords if you know what I'm saying. No? It doesn't help that we look an awful lot like statues and don't move much. Still nothing? Do I have to paint you a picture? Oh, I hope you fall in acid or something. Not cool taking a guy's bird poop blocker. <laughs> well, I fell in acid a lot of times getting here, so you can feel good about yourself, I guess. Okay, there's a map platform. Oh boy, I gotta do this again. Wait, how? Oh, well, take that, bird. <laughs> I blocked bird poop the other way. Bird is gone. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, why? That was enough to kill me? Really? Man. Alright, made it back here. Unsurprisingly, it's a lot quicker to do all this when I'm not reading a novel every few steps. Viv the gargoyle. <laughs> don't look now, but I think you made old birdstain Neil cry. No, don't sweat it, kid. It doesn't take much to get him going. We've been making, making fun of him for years. It's all in good fun. Watch this. Oh, hi, Birdstain, give us a grin. I think I hear the flock heading back this way. Smile at the birdies. <laughs> okay. That gargoyle doesn't talk. Thank goodness. So go this way. How does that... Okay, that opens like that. Hey, give me a shield. Why didn't I get the shield? There was a... Oh, my inventory's full. All right. Well, that's fine then. I'll probably end up using a shield here or two. Maybe, maybe not. Whoa, yep, sure am. That seemed like the best option. What happened down there? A new spider appeared. Why? Is that part of the security system? What an odd thing to do. Alright, so there wasn't really any reason to go here again. Uh, so I have keys and stuff. Two golds, two purples. Uh, there's a double purple door down here that I'm curious about. And a gold door that I was curious about too. Uh, let's check the gold door. Oh boy, a dark room. But at least there's a lantern. Oh, I see how this is. Whoa, okay, that's a vine. I can tell that, to my right, where that spider is, this goes straight down into acid. Okay, and the ladybugs tell me where the other vines are. Alright, cool. This isn't so bad then. Give me that. Okay. As dark rooms go, that was not too unpleasant. No sneaky traps at the end or anything. See, they, there could have totally been a... Whoa, I'm surprised I survived that. Whoa. Oh. Hey, look, a save! Finally! <laughs> Key-shaped coins. Alright, so still got a gold key. Uh, and two purples. I think I know where there's a double purple door, right? Yeah. Uh, how do I get you, gold coin? Like, not like that. Like this, I guess? Sure. Okay. I could have ridden that, but well, no, I couldn't have if I wanted the money. Purple stuff over here, right? Did I read this? Uh, probably. Passage sealed by Gus. Watch for trolls. Gus is a goblin, which isn't the same thing as a troll. 
I guess. From a note found lying on the ground, for anyone following me, I followed the thieves to this room, but once I got here, I didn't see any keys, just a couple of other trolls who don't appear to know I'm here despite my shouts. The gray door here must be soundproof. Uh, although it, uh, acid isn't fatal for trolls, or goblins for that matter, it's still not a lot of fun. Maybe if I drop them into the pool, it will be a big enough distraction to get me in there uh, so I can look around. This was a sparkly room. Wait, are you saying I'm supposed to time this with all three at once? Or do they stay dead? Okay, they stay dead. That would be incredibly mean if I had to time that with all three at once. Okay, got another one. Not the one I was aiming for, but good enough. Okay, that works. Hey, give me the coin. And then to do this platforming is kind of awkward. I guess I have to do this. <laughs> what does this do? Huh. Okay, there's another save. I just used one. Whoa. What? Where'd the trolls go? Did they drop? In a note lying next to the save point, written in Gus's now familiar handwriting. What is going on? I've been here for months and never knew about this place. It's as though it was put together overnight, or at least very recently. The trolls in the previous room have been busy. The last time I saw that room, it was just a normal cavern, with no stone bricks. Does Dr. D know what's happening? This seems to be some sort of quick access point heading down, but to, as to where is unknown. I remember hearing that the Troll Kingdom is somewhere far below, but it shouldn't be this close. My options are limited at this point. As far as I can tell, this is the only way the thieves could have gone. As soon as I can assemble a few supplies, I'll follow. Most likely it's a trap. How else can I explain the door that mysteriously opened as I approached? But it's trolls. How bad could it be? Okay. Whoa, that's... Can I? I can. I don't know why I felt the need to do that, but I did. <laughs> uh... Uh, I'm not getting to that easily again, am I? Eh, it's just a short detour off the main path. Like, I'll be returning here to open those red doors and stuff. So, I'm going to save that for later. Alright, down this way. I have a lantern, don't I? Is this just permadark rooms? Like, yeah, I picked up a lantern in that room. These are just darker than dark. Rooms where a lantern doesn't work. Uh, okay, that's a ladder. How odd. Wait, what? Hold on. That didn't give me a lantern. I don't... There's still not one in my... So the lantern mechanic in this game is different from the first one? That just lights up select rooms? Like, it doesn't add it to my inventory? That's confusing. A satchel is lying open next to the lantern with a small book inside. It's crammed full of messages carefully kept alongside other notes about various areas in the den. It must belong to Gus, but where is he? From the last passage in the book. Still no word from the surface. Is anyone coming? It's been a few days now and nothing. I didn't recognize all the changes in the caverns above. It must be the trolls. I... Sorry, I did notice a lot more cavins. Dr. D must be crazy to live atop land as unstable and nasty as this. I still don't know why he insisted on putting trolls on my team. Just one of many odd requests he made. If I ever get out of here, it's definitely time to move on. I'll go out and investigate that lever again. Maybe a few rocks will help me loosen it. At least it will be better than doing nothing. Another save. Those things are all over the place. Maybe I should have used... Uh... The one on the way down. Well, no. Uh, written in a note lying on the ground. For whoever may come looking for me... Wait. Yeah, that's right. For whoever may come looking for me, I must have stumbled onto some into some sort of trap. I have to hand it to the trolls. I didn't think they were that clever. Fortunately, I packed an emergency lantern. No sign at all of the keys, but I do hear the sounds of footsteps and distant sounds of trolls working. I believe the trolls must live down here somewhere, but I don't recall their kingdom being so close. Maybe they're expanding. I waited here for a long time to see if anyone would follow, but nothing. There doesn't seem to be a way back up from here, but I'll keep looking. After all, we did extend the den further into the caverns. Maybe that was a bad idea. I see. I do see an old lever in this room, but it seems to be stuck. More later. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be more later. Whoa. Secrets. And it lit a torch.
Okay, so money fell and I get access to a platform. Hey you, a small voice whispers urgently. Through a small window with bars you can make out the face of a goblin. It's me, Gus. Did Dr. D send you with reinforcements? An awkward pause follows as you hesitate. Oh no, let me guess, he just wants the keys. The goblin sighs. It figures. I rework his entire keep and this is the thanks I get. Well, I wish I could say I was surprised. Alright, he continues. Maybe we can come to a deal. That's... those quote marks don't work there. <laughs> you let me out of here, and I'll find a way to help you in return. I'll even let you take the keys back up to the dock. So long as you move quickly before you realize... before they realize you're here, it should be easy. In the next room, there's a way in that's heavily guarded. Slip past the trolls and head to a control area below where you're standing. I saw it when they dragged me in here. There's a lever to, to my cell. If you help me navigate out of here, I think there may be another lever that drops the keys. Oh, he's the Mimic. Okay, so that's Gus. You lean over as far as you can, staring into the cavern below, and see several floors carved from the rock and clay. The floors appear to be crawling with trolls moving this way, and that seemingly randomly. This... whoa. The floors appear to be crawling with trolls, moving this way and that, seemingly randomly. <laughs> That's kind of what they do. It gives the overall impression of ants in an anthill. The sign at the top reads, No trespassing. This outpost is under protection of the troll nation. Okay. To be honest, my mouth says the words, but I don't really pay attention to them. A simple sign with an arrow pointing up and another pointing to the right. Up arrow, down entrance, right arrow, a few gold coins. Uh, can I trust that sign? There's one gold coin. The key to greater, greater riches can be reached one gold coin at a time. Oh, this is going to be, uh, okay, I see what this is. Okay, and the platforms are nice enough. Not making me do any crazy acrobatics. As long as I just take my time. This is... okay, that's fine. Uh, ooh, that's a jump. Yeah. Eh. Ah! I figured that might happen. So, how do I... like this, maybe? Sure. Uh. Uh, then I want this, probably. Sh sure. Uh, that worked. So, is that the key to greater riches? I wish there were, like, outlines on the wall marking where the platforms go. Okay, another save. Man, those are plentiful. So I really should just use them when I come upon them. Uh. Okay. 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 The sign with an arrow pointing left to the surface. What if I go down? Oh, I don't have a blue key. Mmm, if I did, I could trade it for a green and a save. Okay, so come back here with blue. Hmm. Can I make that jump? I'm not actually sure that I can, so I'm not gonna try. Let's do this a safe way. Uh, Vine, please let me go here. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, that's fine. That spider moves weirdly. Yeah. I can probably make that jump. Sure can. Well, what's over here? <laughs> More vines. Fair enough. Well. Uh, I made a mistake. Shoot. Can I do this? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Can I go back? I hope so. Uh, yes. Wouldn't want to miss reading the sign. A signpost has two arrows on it. What? Uh, one of which is very crude and looks as though it was done afterward by someone else. Up to the left, den entrance. Right, spiders and stuff. All right then. Okay, and now I'm here. Have I seen any blue keys? Was there one in the room with Gus? There's a shield and two red keys. No. I haven't made it into that troll's den. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. 
That's a survivable fall, so I could actually just go down there from above if I wanted. Wait, hang on. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six is survivable. Seven is what's deadly. Uh, and actually, I guess otherwise I would get in from below or something? So if I would go in there... Uh, let's think about the idea of doing this. There isn't a way... B uh, no, wait. That platform moves up and down. What am I thinking? I don't have to make that drop at all. So for some reason I've decided to go to the Goblin's Den. Uh, Troll's Den. Whatever. They're the same thing, anyway. Basically. Alright, so this is gonna be... of course. Pull levers, levers at random until... Oh, wait, no, they have... They are color-coded, never mind, not at random. Okay, so I don't see... Okay, so green is there. That was necessary, I think. Okay, uh, blue's gonna do that, that's good. This is unmarked. So that's a toggle everybody thing, okay. Toggle everybody... Okay. Well, that doesn't really matter. I can get here. Okay. And Gus, you can leave. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I see you've got my stuff. Go ahead and keep it. Maybe it will come in handy. I'll also pass word to, the, to members of my staff to help you out around the den if they can. And because Dr. D has been so good to me after all I've done for him, I'll give you another tip. I've just helped him build a complex security system to protect an immense fortune. The good news is that Dr. D's numerous suggestions weakened the system I had in mind. Should you go after it, you'll need five green keys and five blue ones. You may even see some yellow keys. They can be tough to get, the goblin says proudly. If you see a room with a key etched into the wall, it means there's going to be an area ahead protecting a key. These keys are completely optional. You won't need them to find the vault. Good luck! And with that, Gus takes off with an unexpected burst of speed and agility, causing you to briefly wonder how the trolls ever managed to capture him. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I could go down. I don't really want to. I kind of just want to go back and save and explore this later. So let's uh, plan on doing that. Uh. So if I go back to the surface on the vine here, I guess... I know there was a save I left behind in a room kinda generally to the left. Oh, and there's one there. If I can open that door. Uh, hi big spider. Uh, you're not too fast for me. Ah, ah, platform, momentum, why? Such a problem. Save! Alright, I saved my game. <laughs> oh, man. Well, look forward to more mediocre writing next time, I guess. <laughs> Maybe it'll get better. I'm not exactly invested in these characters or anything, but I'll keep reading it as long as it's there, I guess. Alright, see you later.